As the world fights the deadly coronavirus, there is a new virus that has come to scare the world and this virus too has been reported to come from China. A new infectious disease caused by a tick-borne virus has killed over 7 people and infected 60 others in China. Official media here reported on Wednesday warning about the possibility of its human-to-human -human transmission. More than 37 people in East China's Jiangsu province contracted with the SFTS virus in the first half of the year. Later, 23 people were found to have been infected in East China's Anhui province, state-run Global Times quoted media reports. A woman from Nanjing, capital of Jiangsu, who suffered from the virus, showed onset of symptoms such as fever, coughing. Doctors found a decline of leukocyte blood platelet inside her body. After a month of treatment, she was discharged from the hospital. At least seven people have died in Anhui and East China's Zhejiang province due to the virus, the report said. SFTS virus is not a new virus. China has isolated pathogen of the virus in 2011 and it belongs to the Bunya virus category. Virologists believe that the infection may have been passed on to the humans by ticks and that the virus can be transmitted between humans, it said. Sheng Jifang, a doctor from the first affiliated hospital under Zhejiang University, said that the possibility of human-to-human -human transmission could not be excluded. Patients can pass the virus to others via blood or mucus. Doctors warned that the tick bite is the major transmission route. As long as people remain cautious, there is no need to over panic over such virus contagion, it said. The first cases of novel coronavirus infection were also noticed in the Wuhan city of China in December 2019. And within a few weeks, it spread across the world, creating a global catastrophe. The outbreak of another virus infection in China is alarming to the world and experts are of the opinion that the world must remain cautious of this disease. Otherwise, it can be an onset of another pandemic.